right guys, so a lot of you may remember this truck from behind me from if you followed the old channel, I got hacked and deleted. This is a 2013 Ram 5500. It is the truck that I decided to put a super long bed on. Wasn't my idea, but hey, I just do what I'm told. Um, so with that being said, I decided I wanted to go over this truck with you guys because all of the footage is deleted and there's no proof that I actually did it. Unfortunately, because that was actually a pretty good video, it did actually fairly well, so I figured let's see how it does on this channel and see if we want to continue this build or if we just want to keep it in the background and completely forget about it. So that's up to you guys. Let me know by leaving a like and uh, definitely comment down below if you like this thing. So let's go over this thing. All right, so the first thing you will know about this thing is these things don't come with a bed. So this is a 5500 cabin chassis, does not come with a bed, comes with a 19.5 GVW. And in this case, we decided to make a lot of huge changes to it. So with the body work is not done right now. So what I actually ended up doing, we took two beds, put them together. These are temporary, just enough to get it to be legal. They're just Jeep flares, but we are gonna be building some custom flares, um, building a bumper around everything. You guys can see back here, there is a gooseneck hitch and we do have uh, room for a fifth wheel. This is the truck we actually used to go get the motor for the 12, the 12 valve motor for my 04 over here. So gooseneck, um, and there's a little bit of stuff going on there. Everything seems to be falling through the floor. Uh, but we decided this is where the fuel door is going to be over here. Um, not yet because it's still down back here. But you guys can definitely tell that it's a 5500 because of the rear bumper configuration, uh, the hitch setup and everything. So what I did was I took... Eh, it's kind of rough under here. I took steel beams right here and i think i took uh, let me actually count one two three i think i took six of them something like that to go the whole i took six of them to go the whole way up um welded them cleanly to the frame and then actually used the factory bolt holes from the original bed and everything measured everything out put them where they needed to be this was a very tedious process definitely a pain um basically we tried to take a point from here and here same with over there and then square it out up front. Definitely what was not easy and then taking this second piece and then doing that separate and then sliding them into each other. So this is all just temporary to kind of get it to um, work for now. But this once everything, uh, once we aren't so busy, we'll end up doing the body work on that and then the rear bumper setup and everything. So probably come a couple weeks, but depending on what you guys say, because if I don't get enough people that want to see it, then it doesn't seem like there's any point in me filming this thing. But, um, so yeah, you guys can see and factory exhaust with a big exhaust tip, just kind of, I don't know how long that's going to stay. But another thing you'll notice, it does have the Alcoas all the way around. Now, the funny thing about these, these are not the stock like 31 inch or whatever tires that were on it. Uh, these are 265, 70, 19, 5, which these come out to just about 35 inch tires. Um, no spacers were required. No spacers were required to clear the duals. So they do bolt up and then it has the steel inner and the Alcoa outer. So 19.5s all the way around. You guys can also tell that it's a 5500 because of the leaf pack that is just absolutely massive. The rear axle, like this thing is just a beast. Uh, it's got 488s. So it definitely pulls pretty damn well. The front. So there you go. 265, 70, 19.5. These things are huge and they are a 14 ply tire. And the tire rating right here, 6,010 pounds single and then 5,670 pound duels. So basically 11,000 pound rating in the back. Did a couple of debadging on the side. Little bit of window tint, nothing crazy. Um, this thing's actually pretty damn clean in here. It smells like a new truck. So this thing's actually pretty nice. I've slept on that seat before. Uh, unfortunately, the radio does not work right now, so I think we will be doing an upgrade on that, but it has the rubber floor. Everything is just like, this is how I would probably spec it, rubber floor and everything, you know, work truck. Um, I think that's for heated seats, I think.
hit the unlock button. But yeah, a lot of room. A little bit of dog hair from Jake, the dog, but fire extinguisher mounted there and everything. I've slept on this seat a few times, slept on the front seat a few times. When I used it, so DEF kind of chilling back there behind. We got to make a thing for that. But a couple of the badges. Deleted the 5500 portion of it. Um, still factory mirrors from the fourth gen. Rain guards and factory side steps. So as you can see, everything is pretty factory under here. There's nothing going on. Um, none of the parts have decided to fall off yet. Everything is still there. Apologize for the wind noise, but yeah, so completely stock. You guys can see down back here. All right. Everything is still in place. Pretty much nothing like super crazy. You guys can see back here, there's nothing here. So this will get covered over. Um, but yeah, so it's basically a 5500, 488 rears, four wheel drive, 35 inch tires. And hopefully we will continue this build soon. So like I said, keep letting me know down in the comments. All right, well that's pretty much gonna do it for this super short video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, like I said, comments likes below so i can do more videos on this thing if you don't want to see any don't go ahead and like it give me a dislike if you want so it is what it is um but yeah if you want to see more you know what to do take care guys and have a good one